Hello goat lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats and today we're going to be getting in the garden because I have to harvest some of our aloe for our aloe bar so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it uh, but first we're going to let Champ and his ladies out. You guys ready? Come on out. Let's go browse. Come on girl. Old champ here is just going around making sure there's nobody in heat and he's pestering the other bucks. Champ here is an exceptional buck. He is five years old and this is his first year actually. He just took a, you are in charge as far as the bucks are concerned now, aren't you buddy? He is actually a half brother to our gorgeous doe May. They both have the same mama. Obi and Obi won everything, didn't she? She was just stunning. Jam. <laughs> arf, 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 arf. Did you hear about the Blue Cactus Soap free shipping sale? It's going on right now. Until December 4th, you get free shipping on all orders over 50 bucks. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Arf. This pretty girl here is Abilene, and Abilene will be four years old come spring, and this is gonna be her fourth time freshening. So I'm hoping she's chock full of babies, and she has a really big udder. So by freshening, that simply means they had babies and they filled their udder with milk. And this here is Ruger. Now Ruger is two years old. By the time she has babies in the spring, she'll be two anyway. And this is gonna be her first time having babies. So she has never freshened. So it's always exciting to see that first udder. Oh, Cammy. And this is my girl, Cammy. She, disgustingly enough, is gonna be seven years old in the spring. I can't believe it but this will be her seventh time having babies. And Cammy loves to have a lot of them. She's like the quad queen, aren't ya? Look at that face, you like them scratches? <laughs> she hasn't been as mad at me lately for being with Champ, huh? Cammy's definitely ready for it to go back to normal though. You're ready for breeding to be over. A good itching. <laughs> this little girl here is Ray. Um, she's gonna be two years old when she has her babies in the spring and she is a full sister to Ruger. Now Ruger and Ray are, again, they're gonna be two years old when they freshen um, and they just weren't big enough last year to, to breed. I didn't feel comfortable with it. So I am excited to see Ray's udder as well. Ain't that right? And both of them are Luckbuck daughters. Yes. All right, so as far as heat cycles are concerned, nobody has gone back into heat as of today, um, including Lid Eye. I'm really thinking that I just missed Lid Eye and she was actually bred. So, again, just keeping an eye and we will see. All right, welcome back to the garden. Um, so we have not planted anything in our garden since spring of 2020 and that was due to the drought um, As of fall 2022 the drought is you know probably over and maybe we will plant again here this spring But what we do have going is aloe now we planted this whole patch of aloe um, It's been a year and this is for soap making so today we are going to harvest this aloe do some transplanting of the little baby ones and winterize it for the winter so this is the desert aloe vera plant. And unless you've been living on Pluto, you know that aloe is really, really good for your skin. Ain't that right, babe? 
it is exceptionally good for your skin it has so many properties uh, healing properties good for sunburns good for acne good for moisturizing so this is absolutely one of my very favorite natural products to add into our goat milk so all right so to harvest the aloe um, you're gonna have some really good gloves because they are spiky son of a guns and they really really can hurt you um, but you're gonna just take your knife and for these big juicy bad boys you just cut it all the way at the bottom and it cuts super easy like a so and that juicy flesh in there is what we are after so this added to the soap makes an extremely moisturizing bar so that's how you harvest it as she was saying that's the uh that's the good part but anyway to use this so i'll show you real quick so i'll just hack off a little piece oh pretend you didn't see that and then you just whack off those needles just gonna chop that off on that end and then i just kind of start it with my knife and then you see if you're dry skin or something and i would use this all the time like on my knees or elbows or something but like once you get going in that look at all that aloe goodness so we are going to take a big majority of these leaves and the aloe plant here is pretty hard to kill there's not much you can do to it that it's not going to come back from it so i'm going to take all the leaves except for like this center bunch here so about the only thing that kill this stuff is cold weather and it does get cold enough where we live here in southern arizona to uh to to almost kill this stuff so we are going to protect it we are going to winterize it here when we're done we'll show you how we're going to do that Check it out, we got three big pots full of aloe. So that is a really, really great harvest. I'm excited about that. That's lots of soap. All right, so now that we've harvested all that we're gonna, we wanna transplant all the little boogers that have popped up in here. So, um, you know, it's just hard to harvest if they're all congested like this growing in on top of each other. So I'm just gonna try to loosen the dirt up around them. Um, and I'm just trying to get down in here and just trying to rip the, like that. That's kind of what I'm trying to do. So you can see these little shoots right here. This this stuff spreads one of two ways. This little shoot's gonna come over and then just grow right up. Or it or or if you can see like what's happening right here, those are the stems that come up and drop their seeds. So this booger's got two ways to uh to spread around. So that's it. I got enough roots there. Like I said, this is really hardy stuff. I'm just gonna dig a hole. And my digger's over there, but I'll just use my hand here. That's good. Wango. Next year's aloe harvest is uh, already looking good. Look at this little cute one. <laughs> Very cute. So look at all them new ones that we got. That is a lot. So last year we planted all those and we didn't really pay too much attention to it. We just watered them a little bit here and there. Again, it is a desert plant. And we were able to get that much aloe for crystal soap making. And we were able to get almost as much as we had in transplants. So we got all of this stuff here. 
We even had so many that we put some over here. Now, Crystal's gonna give them all a good soak, and then we're gonna winterize them. So like I said, freezing temperatures could kill these things. And where we live in the desert, it does get below freezing several times in the winter. So I need to protect these things from the from cold weather. Now, last year we tried several different things. It was really annoying. I had to come out here and kind of cover them with something plastic and then uncover it in the morning. And then I had some extra pine shavings and it turns out that works really, really good. You just kind of put them on there and then and forget about it. So that's what we're gonna do. So trying to put the bulk of it right on the plant not worried about keeping the roots warm we live in the desert it, the ground doesn't freeze here but we're just gonna kind of pile it all up along the plants there that's good for now just to kind of show you what I mean this is all all I'm really looking to do is just protect those plants the uh the tips might freeze and if they do they're just going to turn red like you see some of these on but the core of the plant will be protected from the uh Ooh, he's mad about something <laughs> the core of the plant will be protected from the cold so when spring comes back around they will take right off and thrive and and we can keep making soap out of it all right guys so that is it for today but tomorrow we will show you what we do to process the aloe to get it ready for goat milk soap so other than that we will see you guys again soon